welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again with a brand new WWE Elite Series ranking video for you guys. It's been a little bit since we did one of these. I saw in the comment section that a lot of people wanted to see this video again and bring this series back. So here we are, man, picking it back up with WWE Elite Series 21 through 25. I took a solid look at it, and honestly kind of weaker. We may have some garbage on our hands. However, man, we're going to dive into it. Should be really fun, man. You guys know how these videos work, right? We got to go through the tier list real quick. On the left, we do have Go Buy It. That's the S tier. That's the best tier. If I put a figure there, that means that I highly recommend you go buy it and add it to your WWE action figure collection. It should be there. It should be in your collection. It's that damn good. The good figure section right up under that, that means that I would understand if you wanted it. I would understand if you kept it in your collection. I completely understand it. If you want to see that figure in there. It's completely eligible to be in there, but it's not quite must-have. The next section that we have, guys, is going to be meh, where it's like, it's not bad, it's not that good, it's just kind of like, eh, yeah, it doesn't really do it for me. Barely acceptable is going to be just like one thing keeping you from the garbage. So if like one figure has like a head sculpt and the rest is trash, that'll keep him out of there, or you know, an accessory, or just some of the different things that can keep you out of the garbage. And then the final tier is going to be the garbage, where you're just garbage, and don't search this figure out, don't even look at it, don't even search it up. So with all those things being said, man, let's go ahead and dive into our Elite Series ranking 21 through 25. Let's go ahead and hit it. Starting out first, we have this Sheamus figure. I'm guessing this is Elite 25 Sheamus because I can't see it, but I'm just going to put it in good figure because Sheamus figures have always kind of been the same, right? Like they haven't been incredible. Maybe the Elite 84 is pretty good. The next one will be great because it'll have double jointed arms and stuff, but Sheamus figures have always been pretty solid. Solid head sculpt, usually like a cloth t-shirt, and then from, uh, you know, head to toe, it's pretty much identical to Sheamus, so can't really go wrong with it. I'm going to put it in good figure because I don't think it's quite must buy just yet. Next up is Elite 23 Undertaker. Ah, ugh. I don't know, Brad. I'm going to put this one in good figure for the time being as, of course, you know, like we've gotten better Taker since then, but I hate the rubber coat. I do like the cloth tie. I like the head sculpt on it. It's a solid Undertaker. I like the purple on it and stuff. We did get a re-release of this and then another re-release of this, but the Elite 23 is still a solid figure. I'm going to put it in good figure. Next up is the Elite 23 John Cena figure and I actually like this figure a lot. I'm going to put it and go buy it. Any Cena figure that has the hat, the shirt, the combos with the armbands and everything, that's must buy right there, especially when it is a fire attire such as this one. And I think all the all the Cenas with the shirt hat combination is are, are just super fun to collect. You guys know of my Cenas, Jesus Christ. They're insane. I love it. I put it in the go buy it section, no doubts about it. Next up, Elite 21 Randy Orton. I'm going to put this in good figure. I would put it above these two. I think that at the time, you know, Randy Orton, I, I almost made today's video ranking every Randy Orton Elite figure. If you guys want to still see that video, please let me know down in the comment section below. I think there's like 12 to 15 Randy Orton figures. If you guys want to see me rank the Elites, I don't know how many people would want to watch it because they're all very, very similar. But if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comment section below. But I put him in good figure here. Elite 21 has the claw t-shirt, solid looking head sculpt, solid looking attire. It's Randy Orton. It poses okay. We're going to put him in the good figure. Next up, Elite 24 Ray. Maybe the best figure in this entire video. I don't know exactly, but that Days of the Dead skeleton gear that Rey Mysterio has in that figure is insane. One of the best Rey Mysterios they've ever made. Bar none, not even close. One of the best Rays they've ever made. Fun fact about that one, I found that at my local thrift store, and I just walked in there randomly. I found that, like a Jax Triple H, a Jax uh, Jeff Hardy, I think, or something like that. And since then, this was like three years ago, since that day that I found that Rey Mysterio, I've never never found another WWE action figure at that thrift store. So I hit gold that day and then you never win again, Brad. So that's what we got right there. Next up, we have Elite Series 25, I do believe, Brodus Clay. You don't sleep on this Brodus Clay. I know that it freaking shelf warmed like a hobo, but we're going to put him in the good figure section because he's actually pretty solid. Good posability, solid head sculpt, great accessories, like not a bad figure, I don't think. Yeah, it's shelf warm because nobody really wants Brodus Clay figure, you know what I'm saying? But as a standalone figure, actually not too bad. He was actually the first Ultimate Edition. If you look at his torso, don't sleep on it now, Brad. That's a pretty solid figure right there. Next up, we have Bruno San Martino. Another good figure. Actually, like I say, we may have some garbage. Then I put every single figure in the good figure or go buy it section. Maybe we just have all the good figures first, or maybe I just didn't pay enough close attention. Good figure, Bruno San Martino. Really classic. You know, it comes with the freaking talking pedestal deal. It comes with the Hall of Fame plaque. It comes with a classic as Bruno San Martino. The only Bruno San Martino, I think, I don't think ever. I think Jax did make one, but still a really 
really good figure, and I like it. I'm gonna put it in the good fixtures section. Next up is Sin Cara in the green. Not a bad figure. Like, Sin Cara figures are some of the most underrated figures you'll see, but is it quite good figure? I think it is good figure. Now I feel like a piece of trash because, uh, yeah, I, I feel stupid because I said that there was gonna be a lot of garbage, and we're literally just filling up these top two sections. What the hell is that? Next up, AJ Lee. I'm gonna put this in go buy it. It's AJ Lee Elite. AJ Lee Elite. Lee 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 Elite. AJ Lee Elite 21, I think it was. Very good figure. Great women's figure for the time, especially a great women's figure for the time. That was a lot of people's favorite elite figure of women for a very long time, and it makes sense, so I, I have no problems with that. Great AJ Lee, and one of the only AJ Lees. I think there's like three or four. That's, pro that's probably one of the better ones, so go search it out. Elite 21 Rey Mysterio. I don't hate this figure, but I'm going to put... <laughs> like, it's... Uh, uh, I'm going to put it in meh. I'm going to put it in meh. It's not the best gear. It's not like... It's just not my favorite gear. I think that it's not a bad figure and like Rey Mysterio figures it's kind of illegal unless it's like the first few they go in the garbage and then all of his other ones are pretty much go buy it like honestly uh this Rey Mysterio figure is not bad at all I just don't want to honestly put another figure in good figure is that so is that such a crime it's not my favorite gear the head sculpt's kind of wonky not the best fan of the head sculpt there I'm gonna put it in meh and I'm just gonna leave it you know what I'm just gonna leave it we're gonna leave it next up we have Ryback I think this is Elite 24 20 who cares it's Ryback barely acceptable I'm just kidding Ryback figures really aren't that bad. I always felt like they were super short, and they didn't quite grasp, like, how big he was. Like, he's jacked and cut, but I don't think they got the mass correct, at least in my opinion, on the Ryback figures. Really difficult here. Ah, uh, I'm gonna put it in meh. I'm gonna put it in meh. It may change, but we're gonna put that one right there. Next up, we have Elite 23 Cesaro. This is Go Buy It. Uh, probably my favorite Cesaro we've gotten. I love the head sculpt on it. I love the formula there. I, I like the Cesaro figure a lot. Like, seriously, great Cesaro figure. I enjoy it. It's got the U.S. Championship. I enjoy that Cesaro a whole lot. I'm gonna put it in the go buy it section. Even though he's a bit skinny, I'm still gonna accept it right there. Next up, we have JBL. This one needs a new head sculpt, but since it's like the only ruthless aggression JBL we've ever seen, it's, um, it's like go buy it, honestly, right? I mean, it's pretty much go buy it. It, but I don't know if I want to stick it there, right? I don't know if I want to stick it there. I'm going to... I just noticed that I don't have Elite 25 Seth Rollins in here for some reason, and that bothers me a, a great deal. Or is he an Elite 26? I could have swore he was Elite 25. I'm going to have to double check that. Elite 23 JBL? I'm going to put it in the in the good figure. I'm putting it in good figure. He has the cloth jacket. It's a Ruthless Aggression JBL. You got the cowboy hat. Head sculpt's not that great, but it's the only Ruthless Aggression JBL, and so I would understand if you wanted to grab it. We need an updated head sculpt because they made his suited body basic. They made it where you couldn't, his that head was too big and the skin tone was different, so you couldn't even put it on his Elite 23. Very stupid. Yeah, go, go buy that one. That's a pretty good one. Moving right along, ladies and gentlemen, we do have Elite 23 Macho Man. This is a solid figure, but it doesn't do it for me. A lot of people love this figure. I'm not in that boat. I'm not a big fan of this gear or this Macho Man here. It's just, I don't know what it is. I just am not a fan of this Macho Man figure for whatever reason. I'm gonna put him in the meh stuff right here. I know it's kind of dumb because my, I feel like, like I have Brodus Clay above the Macho Man. Pretty ridiculous, honestly. I'm putting it in good figure. That's, yeah, that's on me. That's on, that's, that's my B. My B right there. Elite 24 Dolph Ziggler is go buy it. Love that figure. Fantastic moment. World Heavyweight Championship. I do hate the gear though in the jacked arms, but I love that figure in package. I really want that figure like mock autographed in my collection because it's just such a beautiful specimen of a figure mock, especially with that specific packaging, but I'm going to put him right there and go buy it and we're not going to think another thing of it. Next up, Elite 24 Miz. This one's actually pretty solid. Like, I like this gear. I'm going to put it in good figure. I like this gear a lot, actually. I always loved how he had the Scratch WWE logo upside down with the M for the Miz. I always thought that was really interesting and stuff, so I'm going to put that one in good figure. We have Elite 21 Ryback. I'm going to put that one in barely acceptable. Honestly, I, I want to put both of these down here barely acceptable just because like they're not really that bad, honestly. They're just like not as great. They're just not my favorite. They also shelf form really bad. Fun fact, I actually grabbed both of those on Ringside Collectibles for $6 or $7 one day way back in the day when I collected. Around the time Elite 35 or Elite 40 came out, I want to say, and they were still on Ringside and I picked them up for like $5 a piece. So I'm going to run with that. Next up, we have Elite 24 Wade Barrett. This actually isn't a bad figure. I actually like this figure a lot. I don't know if I like it more than the Elite 34 Wade Barrett, but it's still a solid figure. 
figure. Like, I, I honestly do like it. Ah, uh, is it go buy it worthy though? Is it? Maybe I need to rearrange my list here. I'm trying to be, you know, not, at, maybe I just completely underestimated this set or something. I'm gonna put it in good figure. I'm not gonna put it up there in the go buy it section, but damn, bro, this is impressing the hell out of me right now when you go back and think about these figures. Next up, Dean Ambrose. I think it's Dean Ambrose. I can't see it from this juncture, but a lot of people are gonna say go buy it. It's a shield Dean Ambrose. And I want to say it's the best shield, Dean Ambrose, if I'm not mistaken. You know, like that perfect, like, prime shield or, like, beginning shield, Dean Ambrose. I'm going to put it and go buy it, even though I hate shield gear figures for whatever reason. I just can't. I think, like, we've seen that leg mold and those legs so many times, and I've posed them in pick beds and done all these things with them that I just hate them now. And I don't know. I just was never a fan of the, the look of the shield. Like, it's in figure form. I just, I don't know. I Just the solid black, it always bothered me, so I'm just going to leave it there. Next up is another shame. Now, do I put this one in good figure, too? Like, how do you put these? Are these the same figure? Did I put the same figure in here twice? What the hell is going on? I don't know if those are from the same wave. I'm, uh, I don't know. I'm just gonna put it right here. I think that's the same figure. I think I effed up. I... I effed up. Elite 23 Triple H. This one's solid. Oh my god. Do we have another figure right here in good figure? This this figure is... God, man. What is happening, man? There's so many effing figures in good figure. Next up, Alberto Del Rio. No, I can honestly say meh. Never was an Alberto Del Rio fan. It's not the best Alberto Del Rio. You know, it's not the last Alberto Del Rio. I'm putting it in meh. Was never a fan. Didn't understand where they pushed the guy. Thought he was garbage. Thought he was hot garbage, honestly. Thought his finisher sucked. And, you know, he kept doing all the things and he's in meh now. He's in meh. Honky Tonk Man. I'd say go with the Retro Fest. I'm gonna go with meh even the actually. He comes with cloth goods, bro. He comes with cloth goods and he has the guitar and he looks just like Honky Tonk Man. I feel like it's a good figure. What is wrong with me? Next up, Elite 22 Rock. This is go buy it right here. This is, this is legitimately a perfect rock figure. Like the head sculpt's not the best, but this is like a perfect main event rock before we got the updated tattoo this rock right here was perfect you had the championship you had the updated tattoo you had the jack torso not that lame smaller rock torso they gave him the correct torso for the time this rock kicks all the ass next up is big show this one's a good ah it's a boring release but i think it's a good figure man like big show figures are underrated his knee pads were massive but he comes with the world heavyweight title the camo gear is actually pretty solid big show figures are super underrated i'm gonna go with good figure i cannot believe like Every figure has been in good figure. Really bothers me right now. God in heaven. Next up, Elite 22 Kane. I'm going to put this one in meh. No, I'm not. I'm putting it in good figure. It looks like all these sets is like we have a lot of good figures. I just don't know where the hell to put them. This, this Kane figure is solid, though. It poses really well. It has the Iron Mask. It has the tag title. Huh. Why did I think that these sets were going to be garbage? Like, what was I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. Maybe I just glanced over it. All these figures are pretty damn solid. Next up, Damien Mizdow. Sandow. Damien Sandow. I'm going to go with good figure again. He has the robe. I'm pretty sure he came with a ladder and the money in the bank briefcase, right? Or he came with the money in the bank briefcase, if I'm not mistaken. And it was like the nice leathery looking one. Thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, I like this figure, man. It had pretty cool gear as well. Maybe that was in a couple sets that we got that other Sandow or I'm tripping. I think we had three elite Sandows. One was a Mizdow. That's insane, bro. Crazy the things you think about. We have... Lord Tensai. Lord Tensai, I want to say shelf form, but he's a go buy it. He's actually a really, really good figure. Like, once you take the cloth off of there, he poses really well. He has really nice things going on with him. He looks really cool in action figure form. I'm going to put him in the go buy it section. And the last figure is Elite 22 Giant. And I think this is a good figure, too. I think it's pretty good up here. I think that all this is solid right there. This is insanity. Also, Elite 25 Seth Rollins. I'm going to finish with him because he's not on here for some reason. I think one of these Sheamuses is supposed to be Seth. Seth Rollins, he would be and go buy it because the man bun Rollins, half blonde. It was the first one. He had the short sleeves on there, molded in black. Really sick figure. Even though he didn't have the updated skin tone at the time, he had the pale skin tone for Seth Rollins, but... I think this wraps up my ranking. I think a lot of good figures in here that I did not expect. We had no garbage. I said we might have a little bit of garbage. We had zero. We barely had any barely acceptables. Honestly, the mehs right here aren't even that meh. Like, you could honestly, like, interchange a couple of these, but these two could probably go in good figure as well. Like, really, really solid set. I, I mean, Elite Series 21 through 25 maybe the best quality of figures we've seen so far if you consider the five sets as we rank them. So that's insane to me, man. Honestly, 
that's crazy that's actually that, that shocks the hell out of me did not expect that did not see that coming but that wraps up my ranking of elite series 21 through 25 again left out rollins probably had a couple figures on it we may be missing a few there but i think i got it uh the rock could be number one it's a really good figure like all the i agree with the go buy it section with seth rollins up there i don't have any problems with that all these good figures i think they're all pretty solid you might get interchange some meds here like drag some down into the meh like elite 23 taker you could probably drag him into meh you might could drag the Sheamus into meh if you like uh Brodus Clay you know you could drag him into meh but the accessories are super fire and he's not that bad of a figure like posing in hand and stuff so I don't know man really quality stuff going on right here maybe not our favorite wrestlers or superstars but damn Pretty good selection, but anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video on ranking Elite Series 21 through 25. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think down below. If you guys want to see the Randy Orton ranking video, please let me know down in the comment section, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok down below. Let me know what you think of my ranking down there, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like I did when I thought that a lot of these figures would be garbage. You cross the line, I've been beaten.